uh, we got we got a lot of the LSPD in the room. Anyone uh, have any questions for the LSPD while they're here? You know, I mean, I, I, I speak on behalf of everybody whenever I say is the public relations officer, the PRO of the LSPD. Uh, here in a few moments, uh, there's going to be a city hall kind of city city hall meeting. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go to that in a few minutes. Hey, sir. Alexis, what do you think that we should do as far as being able to get the word out? Word out for what? For my, my sheriff campaign. You need a campaign manager. Happy 276. Okay, so I have that kind of. But, but how, do we, how do we connect with people in a way that makes them feel like voting me for sheriff would be in their best You interest? connect with them face to face. Hmm. Okay. I like that. It sounds good. Nothing else matters unless you give them eye contact okay. and speak to them from the heart. Okay, I think you're right. I think that's uh, I think that's a good way of looking at it. Anyone else has helping you campaign? They need to use Twatter. They need to make announcements. Okay, good point. So we got to get on Twatter. Get on social media. Do you think people look at that? They do. I don't, but they do. Oh shit. Okay. She jumps down like a numpty. Yep, he jumps down like a numpty. Hey, you want us to do anything about this? No. It's backwards. All right, cool. Um, I need to guard you. So, yeah, as you guys this. may have noticed, today uh, mayoral signups have happened. If you think you can affect positive change, highly recommend running for uh, mayor. Would be possibly very good. Uh, the way that it works is first place uh, equals mayor, mm. second place equals deputy mayor. Uh, everyone else gets fucked in that particular voting uh, cascade. Like in order, or who does the fucking what? Me. Yourself. Oh. Uh, if. <laughs> One thing that I encountered when I was running for mayor the first time is that I would talk to a lot of people and a lot of people would say, you know, Max, I'd vote for you, but you're going to win anyway. So instead, I'm going to vote for second place. Uh, and I know for a fact that a large majority of the people running for mayor right now uh, are only running so that they can secure second place. Archie, they're telling sure people. To... Yeah, like Archie. The, they're telling people to their face. They're like, hey, um, I can't win, but I can get second place. Um, all I'm, all I'm asking, you know, obviously this benefits me because I am running again. However, uh, keep in mind that the, the spirit of the mayoral election, uh, is directly compromised if you're not voting for the person that you want to become mayor. It is the mayoral election. The way that the system was designed is that it is supposed to be one person represents the majority and then the not majority is represented by the second person. Okay, but obviously that becomes conflicted and difficult when, you know, uh, people are deliberately targeting uh, the deputy mayor vote. Uh, anyway, vote for mayor, not for deputy mayor. Uh, that's my urging to you. Uh, don't care. Does that mean we get ranked choice voting then so that actually works? Uh, no, uh, I've raised I've raised concerns with uh, Alan Crane specifically because he is kind of in charge of the whole council of eight stuff. I'd suggesting letting people vote for deputy mayor. I thought that would have been good. Uh, it was shot down, unfortunately. Ten hours a day, I was out there talking to people, getting to know people, getting them to vote in my favor. And the number of people that I spoke to, were like, mm, well, <laughs> you're gonna win already. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna win. Fuck off, man. Just vote for mayor. Vote for mayor. How do we prevent election fraud? Um. Uh, no mail-in ballots. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, no mail-in ballots. Yeah, and check the voting machines. Highly recommend um, signing up if you haven't. Signups are available on the, the government forum. Oh, uh, yeah, don't use chat GPT because uh, people will know. Okay, that's all. Uh, we, got, we got a lot of the LSPD in the room. Anyone uh, have any questions for the LSPD while they're here? As a former deputy, I'm yep. just wondering, what, what's your opinion on a sheriff's office? <laughs> I think a sheriff's office is coming. Uh, it's coming I, soon. I, I... I need to uh, get some because the, the the police continuity act uh, plan establishes the mayor's office ability to establish other departments. That was on purpose because I was future proofing for the opportunity to make a sheriff's office because there is a large portion of the island that could probably stand from some uh, stand for some standard patrol. With some conversation and talking with uh, Captain Slacks, Captain Slacks is in the crowd, or at least he was. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. He's Just right catching here. a dirty criminal. That's all. Uh, we are. We decided to do a, a public vote for sheriff because that's typically how it goes. There are a lot of the, there are a lot of questions to be answered right now because the LSPD is still in a recovery state after the uh, city reopened. It's a difficult and mostly thankless job. What's important is that we give people the opportunity. Uh, th their numbers are bolstering, which is good. Um, if we give people the opportunity to, uh, in the LSPD, uh, choose for a different base of operations, I think that will ultimately benefit the people of Los Santos because a lot of people live up north or in Sandy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, long story short, Sheriff's Office, cool. 
Uh, I'll be speaking to high-ranking members of the LSPD uh, either tonight or tomorrow in order to hammer out how precisely that chain of command would work because it wouldn't make sense to erect another department during this recovery state, uh, you know, and, and cause conflict that way where, you know, like, who's my actual boss? You know, what, what the sheriff told me, uh, a, a, sar- a sergeant in the LSPD, to go off duty. He's not my boss. He works in a different department, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of things to be worked out. A lot of things that will be worked out uh, with uh, cop input. Boom. Yeah, um, I'm wondering if we, if you'd be willing to raise uh, the police department's pay so they can get driving lessons, so they can stop running people over on sidewalks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah I've been that? hit a couple times. Hey, who did True. that? I'm a witness to that. Um, did that happen today? Probably. I mean, probably yes or no. So he's just making up hypotheticals. Yeah, I mean, is it? No, is no, it, no. Is I it, mean, it, like, yes it no actually question. happened to me, but... Uh, Slick Rick, listen. Yeah, okay. yeah. The LSPD, uh, since the reopening of the, the fine ports and harbors of Los Santos, they've got a great track record at uh, policing themselves a lot harder than they police the streets. Uh, as a result, if you have any recording of that, I believe that there may be some remnants still of that in the LSPD, and it will be very easy for you to get that person in trouble for not doing their job. Surely one of these officers would would just admit they did it if they did it, right? Nah. Well, you know how they are. You know how, you know how no, no, they would. You know how no, they would. <laughs> personal, <laughs> hey, listen. If I may, if I may, personal responsibility goes a long way in the police department and it's something that we look highly upon, okay? It's one of our main principles. So, you know, I mean, I, I speak on behalf of everybody whenever I say as the public relations officer, the PRO of the LSPD, if uh, y'all have any issues or anything that y'all you know need, need to have sorted and somebody's running you over and not at least stopping to let you know who they are, make sure you're okay, you let me know, okay? Cletus Cornwood. Thank you. Cletus, I think you ran you over. That's my shit. That, that is impossible. The There's no way I ran you over and That's didn't come back to check on you. Hi, Dargo. Cornwood's the PRO? Okay. What if an officer shits on your shoes? Probably deserves uh, it. Well, who, who pooped on that? your shoes, Slick? Oh, I don't want to sell him out because he gives me cell reps. Ooh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Okay, Jimbo, please like stop it? pooping like on, on shoe his shoes, or? please. Thank you, thank you, Jimbo. Um, yeah, I'm nope. not a fan of it. I swear, can we ask <laughs> questions? <laughs> shit, we can identify who it is. <laughs> you get DNA up, dude. I don't conform to this shit ID, bro. Really? Well, I do hear microchip. some whisper in here about the sheriff stuff like they were just saying, and I'm kind of wondering from a doctor's point of view, because a doctor I am sounds so kind of familiar. tired of seeing the same five rooms in there. Uh, do you think that the medical facility up north in Sandy will open anytime soon? I don't, if, if you can't answer it, it's totally fine, no worries. So, if if that uh so the sandy shores sheriff's office you know name pending uh whenever whenever that gets functional i i suspect highly that the adjacent and attached uh medical building will also be functional so it's dependent on the department the sheriff not, yeah. not necessarily the dependent sheriff. but, oh, okay. but when, when construction work is di- is diverted okay. up there uh, that will probably also be the case uh, i would love to see people working on that building because i think it's beautiful yeah. All right. Well, get well soon. If you need any help, I'm at the hospital. Uh, be, it, be it including a council to determine which food stalls are more successful and that deserve an actual, you know, place to operate full time or, you know, mm-hmm. fleshing out the actual intricacies of, you know, how available a food stall pass should be, so on and so forth. Uh, hopefully, if I'm reelected, I will finally receive the tools to do these things so that I can get everyone off uh, on, on oh, <laughs> and going. Go. Hopefully, I can finally give everyone like what they have needed for months, and I. Oh yeah! Here we go. That's my mayor. That's my mayor. How we doing? I I think we we've been here for about an hour, so I'm gonna call it. Um, I Mr. Max, if I may. Wait, where? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, no. I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Um, I will be behind the counter over there talking to people. If you guys need to keep talking after this, um, I will do one more question. Fuck it. If I may, sir. Well, uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I think this was a very sick meeting. I just wanted to say, oh gosh, I almost had God bless it. America. Uh, we got a show after this, Copium Records, first ever show, Liquid Library. So if you guys want to come out, support your local artists, you know, we'll uh, be over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Sage. You. Ah. Um, play my inspiring message. Sure. Oh yeah, do All right, it. let's do go it. get set up. All right. Oh, oh, I think yeah, everybody buddy. could use a little bit of motivation oh, after sorry. everything. So this is sponsored by Cornwood. Oh, oh, well, out of there, partner. Are you ready to hit the old dusty trail? Wait, what the shit? Well, you'd be a pussy <laughs> if you did. Strap <laughs> on them spurs and let's hit them with oh, another you, one. Wait, I didn't know the what you, you may be asking. Without, no, I didn't, my I didn't response say is, is why are you questioning me? What are you, a commie? 
True. If you love true blue, red, and free, then come on down and follow me to the voting booths and vote Cornwood for sheriff. Yeah, this good old American muscle boy is the only way to bring a safer Blaine County. And remember, a vote for Cornwood is a vote for freedom. He's got my vote. Holy, Holy shit, I love AI now. now. Holy yeah. shit, that was amazing. Oh, what the hell was that? That was incredible. Oh, he's got my Also, that's identity right. theft. I'm going to have seen you. I, I, I will be behind the <laughs> counter. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, Damien. That was incredible. Did you like the AI Cornwood? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I love no, AI I now. That was now. awesome. Yeah, that was fantastic. Holy hell. Here, everybody yeah. can hop in. You excited, Cornwood? You're going to be sheriff. Well, we'll see. I mean, we got we got, a, we got an uphill battle. I mean, there's a lot of people within, unfortunately, within the department that try and blame everything That's on crazy, me. That's crazy, dude. Make the me five people here guy. and not a single one of us asked, bro. You're going to be the fucking sheriff. Well, yeah, that's how it yeah. goes. We got we to we fight for it, you know? Now, you're going to be the sheriff. You need to listen. You're going to be the sheriff. You are the sheriff. It's not very sheriff behavior. You just need to go in there. You need to pull out a revolver, shoot them, and ask questions later. I would That's right. That. Just don't put an extra one in them. That might get you murder. Yeah, Damn. you can't be like, yeah. You can't Modern Warfare 2 lobby them. You well, just gotta only, shoot if, them. only if anybody sees me. That's right, actually. Yeah, if it's behind the building, then we'll, you know, we'll do what we gotta do. True. It is what it is.